Hey guys, before we jump into the video, I just thought I'd let you know that I'm currently doing a giveaway on the channel. So if you're interested in winning the first two volumes of a new manga series called The Legend of Hyrule Kyo, just look in the description box or wait until the end of this video will be in the end cards for the video with the full details on how to enter the competition. So yeah, go for it guys. And if you do decide to enter, good luck to you. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. and I'm here today to bring in a few for One Piece Manga Chapter 882. And this chapter is really like a bit of an update chapter where we see where not everybody but where most parties are at the moment and just finding out where they're heading. So there was quite a bit happening within this chapter. So I'm just going to break it down into the different parts that um, we see happening. So the first thing I want to talk about is Big Mum being sidetracked now we find out throughout the chat through in the chapter that she's heading to peanut island and my whole thing about her getting sidetracked kind of annoys me because it goes back to a point that I've made previously about Oda having written himself into a corner within this chapter. Um it just seems like the that Oda needed a way for them to just kind of delay Big Mum so they can get away because as far as I'm concerned, if things were going hunky dory, Big Mom would have hopped on her flying nimbus and should have caught to and destroyed the straw hats a long time ago. You know, when so yeah, like I've said previously, I feel that like Odo is written himself into a corner within this chapter and he's just trying to find a way to deal with it. Yeah. So another thing that we had within this chapter is Luffy versus um Dog Tooth and you know, why the reason why I do that is because they don't really put within this chapter. It's more of a uh, Luffy dodging Dog Tooth attack for the most part, and then with the end of their little scene, we see Luffy going into Gear Four, so he's going to start attacking the Gear Four now. Also during this bit, and probably the best thing within the chapter this week is finding out that Dog Tooth has awakened his devil fruit abilities as well. I see as well because we know that um, Don Flamingo has done this in the past. So we see Dog Tooth within this chapter turning the floor into Moshi. And yeah, so if Dog Tooth was an OP already, he's definitely gone. <laughs> he's definitely gone into OP now, with knowing that he was able to awaken. There was another thing that was said within the chapter where Broly, she was just talking a whole load of rubbish, in my personal opinion, about how when Dog Tooth came out, uh, he went to a chair and he sat down um straight away. The whole thing about how he's never been down. I was like, I was really feeling like Luffy when I was just getting mad. I was like, shut up, you! You're just talking rubbish. Like, I, I didn't really care about it. Like, so what if he hasn't come down? This ain't boxing. <laughs> this ain't boxing. This, that's literally the first thing I thought. Like, this ain't boxing. So, why do I really need to know this information? We also had um, just some more big ones. Crew Pedro. I'm mean, not Pedro. Uh, Peckham's was there. Uh, Dr. Eggman was there, I've forgotten his real name. And just some of more of um Big Mom's sons and son yeah, sons. And so we had a bit of them just talking. This was Eggman talking about how about first about Pedro and then they go into about Luffy's luck and about how what is is everything that's happening right now is the whole thing with the cape tower falling down. Is the whole thing with the sea slugs under the water I'm not working no more? Is this really just the unexpected? Is this is this all really coincidental? So we just we had that little scene as well, and then we have uh, Capone. He's heading to Chucky Island as well because you know he's not leaving without Bay. He had a little scene within the chapter. We also had, and we finished off the chapter with this as well. Now the thing is with this bit is that we had one of Big Mom's sons talking on the Dendam machine and he says, brother, he says, bro, how's things going with, the, with Germa? And then we have, I can't remember which G it was, but it was one of the Gs, HD or Niji. Talking in the Dendam machine is like, yeah, don't worry, bro. Everything's cool. I think to myself, doesn't. My man from Big Mom Pirates know his own brother's voice. So I was thinking, what, what happened there? Where did the confusion come there? But we find, but in that scene, we find out that the Germa 
I'm going to say it was just disabled because we only see disabled present. It took on 10,000 of Big Mom's, um, Big Mom's pirates. And we, they also join the scene and find out, like, you know, everyone's heading to Chalky Island, so they're going to head to Chalky Island as well. So we've got a whole load of people heading to Chalky Island. So I reckon, because we haven't had that like, end game fights for this arc here, so I reckon all the end game fights are going to happen over there at Chalky Island. But that's everything that's happening in the chapter. Let me just double check that because I did to write my notes to fair people can talk about. Yeah, that's everything I'm going to talk about. So if you like all you guys are asking for your thoughts and opinions, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, rating, sorry. Uh, no, sorry. Actually, I'm going to change the rating for two. My reason for that is because we have so much happening at one t of one time in the one chapter. Uh, and it's like all these things that are happening, they weren't exciting at all. So I reckon I would have had, we could have had a better chapter if we focused on one place. So for those reasons, I'm going to change the rate to a two star. Like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.